Okay, so once again, welcome all. Uh, welcome to the day one of advanced program. Today we are going to learn a trading view. How to use trading view? Uh, how? What are line charts? What are candlestick charts? And we will go through some basics of using XLS PPT. How to take snapshots? This is the first time I am keeping this session in an advanced program. Uh, I think in last uh, three years, I have never conducted a special full day program on this. The reason being uh, that uh, uh, my assumption was people might be knowing and then I realized that uh, people struggle to draw horizontal line, vertical line, over, uh, their struggle is different rather than learning the concepts they are struggling in using the uh, trading view, which is a charting software. So th that's why I kept uh, one full day for that. Many of you must be expert in that. But uh, since you are here today, uh, most likely will something new uh, today in trading view. So be with me and uh, watch this recording as well later for practicing as much as possible. So uh, first question number one. How many of you remember this from their childhood? Can I have yes from all of you? You can unmute and say yes. Uh, you can type yes, whatever way you want to say yes, just say yes. If everyone remembers this uh, from uh, graphs, correct. So uh, very simple. Uh, we were taught in uh, when we are seventh, eighth, maybe sixth, seventh standard that we have to plot a graph. No one told us why. We uh, should learn uh, plotting this graph. Maybe they told we did not pay attention. Okay, yar, pata nahi kya hai. Bahut mushkil hai. Bahut das mark ka aata hai question and we have to learn somehow. Maybe we did not pay attention that time. Uh, teachers must have told us. But it is very very important. Now, can someone uh, tell me uh, whether you are participating again or? Uh, First time you are participating. Uh, uh, okay, so Naveen is saying it's only mark. It only marks. <laughs> okay, so uh, why uh, we study charts? What is the reason we are we study charts? Anyone? To get a pictorial view of the happening. Fantastic. To get the pictorial view. So a graph is only uh, to make us like a picture is a thousand words like they say. So rather than reading, reading thousand words, we see a picture, we are able to grasp uh, very quickly. So I, like so this simple graph, uh, we can without even seeing the price or 100, 200, something like that, a picture we will come to know, okay, the price is going up every month. So within flash of second, we will be able to judge that, okay, the price is going up. That is the only and only reason why we look at the charts. Charts quickly tell us what is happening uh, with the help of price action. And with that easy understanding, we can quickly uh, summarize and take action we it's not that we cannot read the data of the numbers and infer it will take time that's why we are learning the charts and technical so this this part of learning the uh, charts learning how the chart appears in front of our eyes how to infer uh, from those charts and how to take trading decision this entire thing comes under technical analysis. So we are starting for technical analysis. Okay, so let's go ahead. <clears throat> we are going to learn line charts, uh, candlestick charts and uh, data for this chart. So these three things I'll keep quickly take you through. Uh, okay, before we go there, uh, everyone has a free account in trading view or you are using something uh, something similar to trading view can i have yes anyone not having account yes okay yes uh, trading view okay free account is free trading view so you can open uh, 
Yes, 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 yes. Okay, and even not having a count? Everyone is having a count. Okay, great. So we start with the basics. So let me, <clears throat> the data for this charts comes from National Stock Exchange or Bombay Stock Exchange or any stock exchange uh, where the uh, price is traded. So typically for line charts, the data will come uh, like we have seen uh, in seen in our uh, uh, charts that we have to plot on y-axis uh, y-axis you know yeah so x-axis uh, there is a month and y-axis there is okay uh, y-axis there is a price so in trading view also if you see this is the y-axis on which uh, they have written some price uh, 385 uh, this is the price which is mentioned and uh, x-axis uh, sorry this is which axis here i'm not uh, mixing up in the axis okay horizontal is x-axis okay sorry so uh, this x-axis uh, it is the date or uh, everyone can observe uh, on x-axis the date is mentioned y-axis the price is mentioned okay so we have a graph we have y-axis with price, x-axis with dates. Okay, but how this line chart will be drawn? Line chart is drawn here. Uh, the way we learned uh, in childhood. Okay, so data kaha se aaya? From where this data has come? This data has uh, will come from the exchange for which the uh, stock is traded. So the stock is traded. Just hold on. Okay. The stock is traded on a national stock exchange. Uh, this is uh, nsc.com. I think uh, nscindia.com. I'll just copy paste this URL in the chat. Uh, you should be having this as a bookmark in your. I always refer to this NSC India and BSC India. So you will get lots of data here. I have just taken a sample as ITC, ITC company. This is the ITC company. Uh, here it is written and this is the historical data. So the data for line chart will come from the exchange every day at 3.30. Okay. Everyone knows that market closes at uh, starts, opens. The market starts trading at 9.15. In the morning, India time for in, uh, for Indian stock exchange and closes at 3.30, correct? So 3.30, everyone can go home. Everyone knows that? So 9.15, the markets will start. 3.30, markets will close five days a week. We have 12 holidays in a year. So the, uh, it is like, so 3.30, whatever is the close price, whatever this price is uh, mentioned here, close, that close price will be picked up from here. Date will be picked up from here. And the uh, graph will be plotted. So how do you, I know here that on, so if you can see cross uh, this, my mouse is moving. There is a, a cross here on the chart. Now my mouse, I have kept. Uh, so, what is the date you are seeing? You can unmute and answer. No, I, uh, what is the date where the my mouse is kept? 18th April. 18th April. 18th April. Now, 18th April, close price. What was the close price if I ask? So, you have to look here where mouse here, here it is written ITC Limited 1D NSC and 408.25 value. So, 18th April. If I ask you what was the closing price of 18th April, then the what is the closing price of 18th April? 398.5. 398.5. Everyone okay? Everyone understood this? Yes, sir. 
Okay. Uh, if I take to wherever my mouse is, what is the date and what is the closing price of that day? 5th April 386.4. 5th April 386.4. And if, if uh, we are going to go very slow, if anyone is thinking here, don't worry. Okay. Okay. Uh, just unmute, unmute, everyone unmute. Everyone unmute, 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 unmute. Okay. Unmute, 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 Shankar, unmute, Umesh, unmute. Unless someone is fighting in background, then don't uh, unmute. Otherwise, un you can unmute for a minute. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Ah, so, tell me one thing. If someone asked, like I asked, that 18th April, what is the closing price? Hai na? And one person did not understand. So, are we going to laugh on him? Ki kya yaar, itna, itna easy question bhi nahi aata, itna simple cheez bhi nahi samaj mein hai isko. Nahi sir. Nahi sir. Kya baat karo? We should be laughing. No, are yaar, kya hai? Nahin, yaar, what is this yaar? Sitta, itna simple question nahi aaya. What is this? Sir, sabke saath hota hai. Kuch kisi ko samaj mein aata. Learning, learning yeah, sir. Pakka na, matla, yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's a learning. No, ah. sir. It's a learning for everyone. So, if someone wants to laugh, he has to unmute and laugh loudly. Huh? Say, if someone feels that this is a stupid question, tha, you are free to laugh, but laugh loudly. The very reason why I did this, I know no one will laugh. But sometimes what happens is uh, we restrict ourselves. We are. I don't know whether this question is stupid or Satanese. Look, kya sochenge ki merko, uh, uh, question tha, kya yaar, itna simple bhi, uh, you cannot understand and all. So uh, just think when you have that thought process in your mind, just think that you are worrying about some people. Tell me one thing. Are those people going to come and trade for you and earn money for you? No. No, sir. Huh? No, sir. Hey, no. So when they are not going to come and uh, earn money for you or take trades for you, then why to worry about them? No, if you are not able to understand, just simply ask. So that is a ground rule for our entire trading for six weeks. If you find that uh, some, some concept is not clear, Ask me a question. I'll pause for some time. Today I'll be asking more often. Uh, later on I'll be pausing for some time, but definitely ask. Don't uh, stop yourself from asking the questions. Is this ground rule? Uh, everyone is okay with this ground rule? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let everyone laugh. Let everyone laugh. Let them. Huh? Prasad here. I just joined five minutes late. Apologies. Uh, I was not able to connect to Zoom. What did we start with, please? Uh, we are starting with the charts, how the charts are plotted. Okay. Okay. So, okay. and we all agreed that even if everyone is going to laugh, uh, you can ask the questions. Okay. So don't worry that people will laugh on what I ask questions. So uh, we should not be worried about that. Right. Okay, so let's go ahead uh, now. Uh, so Prasad, you are uh, you know how the charts are plotted, right? On the trading view. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. So this uh, where is my mouse? Which date and what is the closing price of that date? Thirty first March. Something. Thirty first March. Thirty first March. Can I add something, Samit sir? Ha, ha. Tell me. Every doubt which we are going to keep in our mind, it will cause an opportunity to lose money. So ah. do not keep any doubt. Doesn't any matter doubt, who yeah. laughs, who ah. cries, whatever it is. We are here to make money. Make yeah. use of Samir yeah. sir as much as possible ah. and ensure that every doubts are clear so that we don't have an opportunity to lose money. Okay. All the best. Fantastic. Very excellent thought, sir. Thanks. Okay, great. So 31st March and what is the closing price we have here? 383.5. So everyone is clear. So let's move ahead. Now, there is this is something we can say this is a black and white movie. This movie is black and white where we have only date and the 
price on the y axis date on the x axis and we are going by the closing price mm -hmm. what happened was 400 years ago uh, uh, dr homa uh, i don't know whether he was homa but when mr homa was there in japan uh, he created candlestick pattern so what uh, and he used to trade in rice future and options he used to trade uh, 400 years ago in japan for trading in uh, rice futures options i don't know whether it was there but he used to trade in uh, rice futures so he devised something called candlestick patterns how from where this candlestick pattern data comes it again comes from uh, the same data from the exchange on 21st april at 9.15, here, I'll just expand it. Okay, 21st April, 9.15, the trading of ITC share started at 400 rupees 30 paise. Okay, it went, <coughs> highest it went was 409, lowest it went was 399 and it closed at 408 point. Two five. So this, these are the four data which he used 400 years ago. So then that time also Japan uh, rice exchange was there, which would operate every day. He used to keep people uh, at every 50 kilometer because he was staying little far away from uh, his uh, uh, exchange. So he would sit at exchange. People will uh, sort of transmit the data uh, to him and uh, by flags and all. That's what is said in the books. And he will note down and he will create the candlesticks and then he will trade. So he designed the entire trading system based on candlesticks 400 years ago. We are still using it and we'll be using it for next at least 20, 25 years at least. Uske baad, kaun use karta hai? Apne koi nahi hai. So this was the data open, high, low and close. VWAP is value weighted average price. This is not used. This is, uh, we will not be going through it, how it is, uh, what is the uses of that as of now, but we will be using open, high, low and close data in the charting. So again, uh, so this is the candlestick. If I keep here, you have to see the price here. It is mentioned O, H, L and C. What is meaning of O? Open. Open price. And open open price. price. This is at what time? 9 15. 9 as of now. As of now, it is 9 15 in the morning. It is open price. H, what is the H? Highest. 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 highest price. What is the highest price? 408. 409. 409. Yes. Hello. Yes, sir. I said many galat dekha tha. Achha, it's ah, okay, 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 okay. And low is three double nine point zero five. Three double nine point zero five. Four zero eight point two five. Correct. If close is higher than open, then the candle will be green color. If close, just in this case, mein hai, the closing price is 393, open price is 397, open price is higher than close, then the candle will be uh, colored red. as red. red. Okay? In since uh, uh, this uh, at the time of uh, 400 years ago, he had access to black and white pencils only. So that time, the convention what was uh, followed was that if the close was higher than open, he would make a white candle. And if the open was lower than close, he will make it with a black color. So that mm -hmm. was the black and white era. That is how for last till uh, 2010 uh, year, 2010, all books and everything which are being published in black and white, you'll see that, okay, the candle white and candle is black. So if the candle is black, then the price went down that day from after open to close, the price went down. If the candle is white, the price went up. 
that's for if you're reading the books, uh, this information is only for that much. Second thing is, uh, this is a body, the, uh, what we say here, let's take uh, this point. Here you can see this rectangle, which is colored. And there are, uh, there is on the top, there is a thread kind of thing at the bottom also, there is some thread kind of it. So what is this body? This body is the, uh, distance between open and close on 10th of April open was 387.35 close was 388.55 so open and close whatever the distance is there usko ek rectangle bana ke, usko ek color fill kar diya, they filled the color from this point from this body till the highest point which is 390 one line is drawn on the upper side of the body and a lower was 384, a line was drawn. So this is lower wick, upper wick. So this is a complete candle, uh, a body colored between open and close. If close is lower, then the body is red. If close is higher, the body is green. That body is colored with uh, green color and wick is drawn, lower wick and upper wick. This is how the candlesticks are drawn. Everyone okay? So far, so good? Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, yes. Samir, yeah. what is this uh, red box and violet box? Uh, it is showing the same same value. Violet box, where it is? Up, up left hand side corner, up. Left Just hand side, corner, red up box, there. and uh, this is bid and ask. Uh, this is uh, bid, bid, bid value and ask value. Okay. Uh, so, because today it is close, so both are equal. Uh, that's why it is. Okay. Uh, we have gone through the candlesticks. Samir, uh, one quick question. Um, uh -huh. If the body is very lean and uh, if the wicks are, you know, high and low, it means that the fries has fluctuated too much on that day? Huh. Uh, today we will not cover that science. Uh, on next weekend, I am going to cover the entire science behind uh, what is the meaning of this body. If the what is the meaning of the if the body is small, what is the meaning if this body is big? What is the meaning if this wick is big? This wick is big. Uh, what is this meaning? Because here the, it opened here, went here. This wick is small. So uh, see. Why, like we said, we are learning this for uh, doing the technical analysis. Huma create, Dr. Huma created uh, this uh, candlestick patterns to interpret something. So we, there is an entire science behind uh, this interpretation and we will be going through very minute details of this interpretation starting uh, next week. 10.30 okay. onwards, I'll take you through each and every candle. What is the meaning of each candle? Okay, sir. Okay. okay. Next weekend, we are going to, I'm, I'm going to take you through uh, this volume. What this volume and this candle means. What this candle and this volume means. So, I'll be taking you through that also completely. Okay, okay. sir? Sure, sure. Sir. Okay. So, uh, let's move ahead. Oh, it's all ready. 24 minutes. Okay, fine. Now, uh, can I have yes from all of you if you have clearly understood whatever? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Now, the way I am going to do it is like this. I will be, uh, what I will be showing you is uh, we will have breakout rooms how many people we are seven we are 17 right so uh, okay no one has logged in from two of these things okay now uh, the way it will proceed is uh, i will show uh, here uh, on the top this all the uh, things which are on this top here in my trading view till here I'll be showing each function from here to here. 
I will be, uh, once I show it from here to here, I will be sending you in a breakout rooms. That means I will divide, uh, we are 16 people, so I will divide you into small groups of three people each. So you people are 16, uh, we are uh, total 16 participants are there. So we'll have five, uh, uh, this thing, uh, five groups with three people and one group with four people. As how, huh, something like that. That will happen. So what do you have to do once I send you in breakout room? <coughs> Each one has to explain to other what is the meaning of this, 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 everything from till here, whatever I'm explaining, you will have to do it. Each one will have to do it and show it to other so that we are practicing also along with what I'm teaching. So we have 30 topics to cover. I will take five, five topics only. I'll send you, I'll give you, uh, let's say seven to eight minutes. Uh, you will practice uh, there. Again, come back. So everyone should be able to practice in that. Fine. Everyone good with what we are going to do throughout the day. So I, I'll teach something. You have to go practice, come back, teach again, go practice, come back. So every one of you has to practice when you are in breakout session. Okay. Okay. Sir. Fine. Everyone okay? Yes, sir. Yes. Second thing yes. is when you are in breakout rooms, don't... Uh, spend your time in introducing yourself okay i am this i am falana Yevo. we will have another day yes. go there take turns okay uh, i will uh, show this uh, and then uh, uh, finish those who are not able to uh, participate in breakout yes. session if they are in mute in meeting just declare i am in meeting i will not participate let other participants yes. practice yes. and come out is that okay because maybe someone is joining from mobile it may happen that. Okay. 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 Now, let's start. Uh, for, first of all, uh, when you create a login, okay, when you, I'll just mute all. Huh? There is some background noise, so I'll mute all and then again, uh, I'll mute. Okay. Now, whenever you create a login, uh, you will be on this uh, web page. Now, sometimes uh, the trading view keeps on changing uh, things, but more or less it will remain this way only. And so if maybe after six months, if you are looking at this video, something might have changed. We are trying to study whatever it is today. So when you log in uh, in your system, you will get something uh, like this. Uh, one year profile uh, this uh, page you have to go to products and then click to super charts so you will be coming to super charts here so it will open some random chart step number two what you have to do is you have to as of now as of now make sure you are having uh, the symbol as D. So if you see from the right side, you have this ITCs or some something will be written here. Uh, plus we are not going to use right now and you should have D. Every time you open trading view, make sure you are having this D. I'll tell you the importance later. So you should have D. Now this is the symbol. This is the place we are where you are going to input the symbol. What is a symbol? Symbol is a short form or a uh, bigger name uh, like uh, Infosys. Okay, so uh, Info S Y S Infosys Limited. It's a big name, uh, or let's say uh, give me some bigger name. Stocks nickname. Yes, uh, like you have uh, Nike, right? N Y K A A, and the long name is so much. So we have to remember that instead of that, that they have given a small name or a nickname. Every exchange will be giving that. So what you have to do is two things. How many of you can identify the flag of India? Flag of India, Everyone knows flag of India. Yes. 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 Okay. Yeah. Now flag of US. Yes. A flag of UK. Yes. Yes. Okay. Great. It's not here. 
फ्रांस सिंगापुर जर्मनी वगैरह यू शुड बी नोइंग बिकॉज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डू ट्रेडिंग इन दोज एक्सचेंज यू नीड टू नो देर फ्लैग जैसे वही टिप टाइप आई टी सी ओके सो हियर द आई टी सी विल कम आई टी सी फ्यूचर एंड आई टी सी विल कम यू हैव टू ओनली सिलेक्ट आई टी सी एज ऑफ नाउ जस्ट फॉर अ क्रॉस वेरिफिकेशन मेक श्योर दैट एन एस सी और इंडिया फ्लैग इज रिटर्न देन क्लिक ऑन दैट इट विल हैपन नाउ यू थिंक यार ऐसा क्या आई टी सी तो इंडिया में ही है ऐसा नहीं है इट गेट्स ट्रेडेड इन यूएस ऑल्सो सी हियर इन फी यू विल फाइंड इंडियन फ्लैग Infosys is traded in some BYM. I don't know where it is, and then uh, Infosys is traded in some Capital Com also. New York. Ah. Huh? New York. NY. Ah, NY may be has some place here. New York NYSC be here. So Indian stocks are getting traded in those exchange also. Ah, uh, so that's why it is very important that when you are selecting the symbol search, ah, uh, you are clicking here and you are selecting the Indian flag. So this is where you change the symbol. If you want to know what is the symbol, if you know the name, just type the name Reliance. Okay, you will have lot of Reliance, Reliance Industries, and then Reliance Global Group, blah 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 blah, everything. So you should know at least the full form uh, or a short form. here you can get the list of uh, short forms in india uh, market data equity and sme market uh, this you can see in recording where to get then uh, see this is all nifty 50 i'll take you through index uh, what are this index and all that is a later part we'll take so nifty 50 if you see these are the symbols itc britannia wipro and all so these are the symbols if you want to practice you can practice from here if you don't know how to go to this page simply go to the home page here also uh, you will get some symbols here these are the symbol uh, view all if you say you will get those symbols so for practicing <clears throat> so we have learned the symbol how to change the symbol simple we have to click here this window will open type tcs tcs will come indian flag fantastic only tcs return no futures return click tcs aa gaya then let's say uh, i want the data patterns uh, data no, sorry data patterns data patterns india limited okay nsc flag change symbol change everyone okay so far so good yes sir okay after this we will be using the this is called time frame now what we have studied is let's go back to reliance now what we have studied is the data for the day time similarly there can be different different time frames uh, which people look at and we will be studying how to look at uh, different time frames and how to study them and how to interfere uh, interpret them uh, so this is where uh, different time frame if you see let's start with the highest time frame which is not very highest but let's say month so if i click on this here what is uh, third from on the top or uh, if so, click on this uh, go down one month this is a same candlestick chart for a monthly time frame when i am saying monthly time frame means this candle the where my mouse is this represents one month candle that means if you see in the bottom it is written 1st december 2022 so this candle where my mouse is present this represents a monthly candle means the first day first december 2022 9:15 pm whatever was the opening price during the month whatever was the highest price whatever was the lowest price in that month whatever was the closing price at the end of that month will be brought in into that one candle so this chart it will look similar to the day chart but it's a month chart the data of open high low close is taken for each month 
So this is again, you will see similar candles. Point here to notice whatever principles we'll be using for day chart, similar principles or same principles for analyzing chart on monthly basis will be also same. But that was on, on monthly time frame. Then if you come uh, here, this is one week. So this is the chart for one week. That is the open high low close for a weekly Monday to Friday, whatever order was the price action. This is a weekly chart. So people interpret weekly chart also. Then we come to day chart. It's a daily chart. This is open high low close within that day. Then we zoom in uh, for the hour. So we have four hours, three hours. Normally people use one hour charts. This is again a one hour chart. If you see here, uh, here it is 20th April. If you scroll, now you can see the time. Uh, 21st April 2023, 9.15. One hour is 9.15 to 10.15. If I move my can mouse to second uh, candle, it is 21st April 2023. 10.15 candle means the candle data from 10.15 to 11.15. This is data for 11.15 to 12.15 and so on. If we further go down 30 minutes, it is a further 30, 30 minutes ka candle. Hai. So 21st April 9.15 to 9.45, 9.45 to 10.15, 10.15 to 10.45. Like that, small, small uh, candles are there. Further, we can zoom in, zoom in. Even one minute candle is available. Data is available in trading view. Nowadays, it is available. So this is the time frame. So we have learned two things. As of now, how to change the symbol, how to change the time frame. Third point here is candles. So if we click here, then you will get bars, candles, hollow candles, columns, line, blah, 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 blah. Lot of things is there. In our uh, entire course, we are going to focus on uh, uh, candlestick charts and line charts. Going further, you can as well uh, learn about Hakinashi uh, candles, which is here. So if you are to shift from candles to line, you have to go to line, it will become a line chart. Again, coming back to candles, you have to click here, you have to put candles, candle will come here. Again, you want to see the Hakinashi uh, candles, you have to, it is, it is similar to uh, candlesticks. It is believed uh, Homa developed the candlesticks first and then developed the Hakinashi. But not many books in Japan are available on Hakinashi. More books are available on candlestick patterns. So we will be, there are a lot of Renko and all everything. We will be studying on candles and line as of now. So we have studied three things. Uh, fourth is indicators. What is indicator? Achha, one thing before I go further, okay. Again, what is the purpose of us studying this chart? Why we are studying this chart? Why we want to interpret this chart? We want to see how the price action is behaving. That ha. is the reason. Okay, well, how it is behaving. Okay, and what we are going to do with that behavior? Yeah, we will come to an understanding whether you know we can take the trade or we do not want to take the trade. Those type Correct. of uh, actions we can uh, uh, come to a conclusion based yeah. on. Suppose if it is a day day chart, if you are looking at it as a previous day how it is, uh, previous to previous day how it is, and based on that you can come to an assumption it may go or it may come down like that. Maybe standing the patterns through the candlestick charts. Correct. Absolutely. Figuring out the uh, highest probability of trade in our favor. Yeah, future, future, right. how it will ah, move. I... Absolutely. So, absolutely, this is the four-step process. What everyone has described. One is to see what is going to happen. But itni jaddo jahad isliye hai ki we want to predict the future. So, all this what we are doing daily, monthly, weekly, and all everything. 
or line chart, candlestick chart, we are moving between this because we want to predict, we want to understand what is happening right now. Then based on what is happening right now, for us, the most important thing is to able to predict what is likely to happen in future. We are becoming astrologers of stock market. Hmm. Fine. So from today, you can Bindas call yourself. I am an astrologer uh, in stock market. Okay. Not every astrology will be 100% successful. More practice they do, more accurately they can forecast. Same is with uh, stock market also. More you will practice, more uh, accurately you will be able to predict the future in the stock market. So we will be going to take a high probability trade based on our predictions. Fine. Everyone okay? Yeah. Okay, sir. Okay, great. So, uh, so three things we have. So, what happened was, uh, since we had price action, we had a simple data. Then indicators were created. Indicators were created to interpret that data, and indicators were created by their creators for ease of indication, ease of interpretation, ease of uh, prediction. Okay, so they wanted ki, they were not able to, let's say, they wanted ki, thik yaar, price action to ho gaya, but I want something more, thoda sa koi aur kuch ek indication mil jaya, so that I will know what is likely to happen for that indication, that what is likely to happen, indicators were designed and created. So those were traders and they created indicators to indicate what is likely to happen to help them trading. And then they were able to successfully trade. They passed it on to the common people. That's why it is called indicator. Indicator is not something which will guarantee. Nahi, yahi hoga. No, indicators indicate. And there are around 400 indicators which are widely used. So it's a huge C of indicators. So first thing I would like to share with you is you don't run behind all indicators. Learn one, one or two indicators. It is good enough. And you can uh, earn consistently. That is one. So first is lesson number one. How to put the indicator. So click on the indicator. Again, this window will open. Uh, normally what people use is uh, RSI is very popular, MACD is very popular, ADX is very popular in the market, simple moving averages are very popular. So uh, let's start with moving average. So you type moving average, so it will give you some moving average, something. Nothing should be uh, written here. Some people develop the script, some are default, use the default trading view. So you'll get moving average. Uh, and all just click moving average. So it will plot the moving average. I'm not going into what is moving average, how to use it. I'm just saying indicator. Once you put moving average, again, you go, let's say moving average. If by mistake, you click this moving average two, three times, one, two, three, four, five no love lost all you will see is four to five times written here moving average moving average on the left hand side you can see there are lots of moving average written here because most likely we might have clicked four to five times six times so nothing happening just go uh, take the mouse just remove 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 keep one here you have a lot of things first thing there are few indicators which will be superimposed, superimposed on the chart. Moving average, Ichiboku are those type of indicators will be which will be plotted on the top of the chart. Like this average is being plotted on the top of the chart. Ichimoku, if you see, it is plotted on the top of the chart. If you want to hide an indicator, if you don't want to see this, Take your mouse to the indicator. The first thing is this I, I. 
click on it that will be hidden again if you click on it it will appear second is the settings if you go in settings this panel will open there are a lot of styles and all everything you can change like for moving average if you go to settings inputs right now it is length it is showing nine uh, you can change it to 200 it will become 200 day moving average so it will change i'll just hide ichimoku and then i will see see this has changed if i change it to 50 it will be 50 so likewise you can change the setting so you can so this indicator will will be plotted on the top of price action there are some indicators uh, which will be plotted below let's say rsi RSI is relative strength index. It will come like this. See, don't go. If some name is written here, Mohani, Mohani, it is there. Don't use. Someone might have published. We don't know what calculation they are doing. These are by default, like the author has done. Click on that. And then you will get them on the bottom. Some indicators are uh, coming at the bottom of the chart. So these are not overlaying and these are some different in indicator. The person who designed, he said, okay, if it goes above 70, you buy, if it goes below 30, then many gentlemen uh, did a lot of research and they came up with a lot of uh, uh, different tactics. So this is how RSI is used. Now, if you want to uh, remove RSI, this cross is there, delete pain. So uh, at the bottom, here it is, you can remove the RSI or you can again, let's say RSI. <clears throat> if you bring RSI, it is there. Again, the RSI value will be here. You can remove RSI from here also. You can make it cross. Sometime it may happen that you have done the... Uh, Okay, uh, so Amit asks, what is SMA? SMA is simple moving average. Indicator is simple moving average. Yeah? So let's say you put the RSI, but it disappeared. It is not there on your screen. So what you have to practice is you have to make it disappear. It may happen that you have double clicked in this blank area. So again, double click and the RSI will appear. It may happen sometime by mistake, you have double clicked on the RSI pane here, your chart disappears, suddenly it goes away. You are thinking, abhi to tha wo chart, pata nahi kahan gaya. so you might have double clicked in the, on this blank area, the chart has gone. So again, you double click, the chart will come and like that. So these are something people get lost. Nothing happens, just log out, log in again, and uh, then you will be able to start afresh. So this all things will happen. So see in the chart area, if you double click, the indicator has gone. It is not deleted, but it has gone because it hides as per command. If you double click, it will come back. So if it is hiding, you can do like that. Indicator, which is at bottom, you double click. The chart is gone. Only indicator is visible. Maybe you have double clicked on the... Uh, indicator again do a double click it will appear so this is common uh, which problem which face again you can hide rsi here this i is here you can hide it will hide but it will not disappear you can unhide settings and you can remove it so we have learned one uh, icon then time frame chart team chart indicator and alerts. Alerts you can put. <clears throat> Alert I will cover later. Fifth point I will cover now before I sending you all to the breakout room is replay. Now why replay is needed is because I want to uh, recreate. See the best part of stock market and technical analysis is you need not put your actual money uh, for trading. Uh, you can as well see whether what has happened in the past. Now the problem what happens is we have a visual bias. When we see things, uh, we, uh, we tend to change our decisions because uh, we see that what has happened in future. Let's say if I'm seeing this, 
and i say okay this is one technique that this w will go up if it breaks out above this and it will go up ye main bata raha hu this i am telling you i might be telling you a wrong thing i might be hoodwinking you i might be telling something you so whatever i teach you it is your duty to go back and do the back testing what is back testing go to the charts and see whether the same thing worked 3 years ago or not 5 years ago or not if it was working for 3 years ago 5 years ago it is likely to work ahead also so what you have to do is see let's say i am starting from uh, 2020 20, just for example say now <clears throat> i don't want to see the bias of future i don't want to see what has happened in future so i can use this fantastic uh, tool for replay visual replay so i have to go to replay click the replay button see now can you see one blue line is coming can i have yes from you if you are able to see this blue line which is coming after yes I sir button? Yes. yes yes sir now i put it here on this chart now you see, you see this chart is only available for me till 24th march 2020 any all chart before this is, has disappeared fine so now i can what i can do is here one panel at the bottom if you see there is a panel which has appeared so uh, this is the play button the second one is one by one candle it will play so this play with one line if you click it once one bar will appear if you click once more one more bar will appear like that if you press the play button and you don't have to press anything it will play it one by one one by one so you can replay the entire four to five years and experience how it has happened and you can take the decision that has happened and you can do back testing so this is a very powerful tool for doing back testing again you pause it will stop the speed here is 3x and 10x which they have given 1x 3x 10x 1x is aram se it will go candle one by one one by one peacefully it will go so you can see uh, 3x is it will go little faster 10x it will go very faster so we have used it for replay so it will replay from there till here let's say if i have moved forward and if i want to go little back so what i can do is here is one bar and arrow so i can click here again this thing will appear again i can go little bit back and start the replay mode again then i'll i can play one by one or i can play continuously whatever i want to do for testing i can do accordingly if i want to remove this panel then there is a cross at the end exit bar replay on the uh, right hand side bottom you can see exit bar replay just put a cross on this you will exit and the price will come to the current date okay so we have learned five things one is the symbol second is the time frame changing third is the changing of uh, the chart fourth is how to put overlaying indicator so you'll put uh, uh, overlaying indicator you will put indicator which uh, sits at the bottom and then uh, you what is this indicator templates we will not use that this as of now then bar replay so five things we have learned yes yes sir yes okay. sir yes so someone uh, got dropped off i don't know something in whatsapp okay nothing okay now uh, so we are 15 i'll make group of 3 uh, you have to go in the breakout room so some pop up will come to you to join a breakout room i'll put you in the breakout room everyone has to come to this chart you have to each one of you has to practice all these five things okay and help each other in understanding the five things uh, if three people are there all these five things i think 3 minutes per person is okay 
ఫార్వర్డ్ ఓకే